Are you ready to get started with Pinterest for your Shopify store? Well, you are in luck because we are doing a four part video series all about Pinterest and Shopify. And in this first video, we're going to show you how to claim your website on Pinterest. So stay tuned. Hi, and thanks so much for joining us. If you are new here, my name is Elle McCann, and I've been a Shopify expert for six years now. If you've already been a subscriber to this channel, thanks so much for watching, and make sure to comment below and say hey. Now, I am so excited to be doing a four-part video series all about Pinterest and Shopify and how they are just perfect together. So if you are just getting started on this and maybe it's already come out, well then you are in luck and you can watch the full playlist up in the info cards above or in the description below. Now in this first video, we are gonna be talking about how to actually claim your website on Pinterest and you just need to do a little bit of tweaking or put in some code on your Shopify store so that you can claim your website. Now the benefit of doing this is that there's a another place where your website is listed and maybe people go to your actual Pinterest profile and click on your website there after they found a couple pins that they like. So it's just another place to link in your Shopify store and get it connected to Pinterest. So let's go ahead and hop into my screen and I'm going to show you exactly how to get that set up. Okay, so I am in the back end of my Shopify store now and I am under online store and themes and we're gonna actually be adding some code into our Shopify theme here. So to show you exactly what it's gonna look like, let's hop over to Pinterest. And you can see here for our Curious Themes profile, you can see here this www.curiousthemes.com and it has this little globe with a check and it says this website has been claimed. So this is what we are trying to set up on our Pinterest profile for this website as well of In All Home. So we don't have it here, so we're gonna go ahead and claim our website for this profile. So to do this, we're just gonna click on the three dots in the right-hand corner, and then go to Edit Settings, and then Claim. And you can see here, it has this area of Claim Your Website. So we're just gonna type in our website URL. Okay, and I'm gonna hit Claim and you have two different options. You can either add HTML tag to your site or upload an HTML file. So since we are doing Shopify, we actually don't have the option with Shopify to upload an, an HTML file to our root directory folder because this is all on Shopify servers. So the option that we're gonna need to do if your website is with Shopify is this add HTML tag. So we're gonna just click on this here and I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to, before I hit the next button, I'm gonna go back to my Shopify store. And now I'm going to click on Actions. And from this drop down menu, I'm gonna hit Edit Code. Now you wanna be careful when you're doing this because you can you know, mess up your site design or your site functionality. So you wanna be very careful and pay attention whenever you're editing any of the code in this area. But under the layout area, you're going to click on this theme.liquid. And then now you're going to see a few different things on the page. So you're gonna see this first head tag, and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and see where the end head tag is. You need to paste this code that we copied in between these head tags. If you do it too far down the page, then it won't work correctly. So I'm just gonna put it here next to this tag and I'm gonna hit enter twice and then paste it in and then I'm gonna hit save in the top right hand corner. Okay, so now we have our Pinterest code on our site. So I'm just gonna head back to Pinterest and I'm gonna hit next. And now it's just saying that it, we are going to submit it for review and it's gonna take about 24 hours for Pinterest to review it on your site and make sure that the code is in there correctly to get that website showing up on your profile. So we're just gonna hit submit, and again, you see this stay tuned. So then you'll be looking for an email from them, and then once it is approved, then you'll see that area on your Pinterest profile, and that's all you have to do. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. In our next video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up the Pinterest conversion tag so you can actually track exactly what actions people are taking 
on your site whenever they come from Pinterest. So stay tuned. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and be the first to be notified whenever we put out new videos and tutorials all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. Thanks for watching.